So welcome back. Um, I know I haven't been on in a while. Nothing's really going on. I started doing a little bit of private shopping for people as opposed to doing Instacart because, you know, I make more money obviously doing it because Instacart takes, you know, whatever they take. So that's been pretty cool. And I got to meet some new people, <clears throat> excuse me, which is totally awesome and I love it. So that was groovy and it gets me out of the house, which I dig. Um, so that was super fun. I also actually wanted to talk today about the show that I saw on Netflix. It's called Too Hot to Handle. It's like a dating reality type thing. Pretty sure they're in the same house as the house from Love Island. I I'm almost positive because it looks basically the same, like the same layout. Just it feel I felt like they changed up the accessories. But basically, you know, it's, it's, it's a group of 20-somethings, very young 20-somethings, who don't want deep connections to people. They just want to have sex with them. And again, that's fine. But basically on the show, they can't have sex with anyone. They can't hook up with them in any way. The most they can do is hug them. And if, if they do, they have like a monetary uh, punishment. So it deducts from $100,000 and everything that they do um, takes money off of that which, you know, brings about, you know, obviously peer pressure because it's a group effort. So that's interesting and, uh, you know, whatever. So then secondary to that, they also have them do um, different types of uh, workshops to build trust and understand the, you know, the concept of deep connections and even to really go inside themselves so they can figure out why they're not interested in making those deep connections. And I have to say they were the best I've ever seen on TV. They were great. These exercises were so amazing and it was so amazing to watch the majority of them really transform and really figure out why it is that they were holding back. I mean, first of all, to even figure out that you were holding back is a huge step, but then, you know, why and what, what you have to do to kind of, you know, change that. And they had one uh, workshop just for the girls and one just for the guys. And in the girls workshop, it was really interesting, you know, because women are so obviously hard on themselves and we don't do, a, we say a lot of things like girl power, but a lot of times we're not really on a team with another girl. Um, you know, it's hard, I think, for girls to be like that, but you know, whatever. Um, and it was really interesting because you know, they have all those same girl things that have been probably around since the dawn of time and how, you know, we don't really feel super empowered. You know, a lot of times we feel like we should shut up or, you know, we should maybe lower our standards because maybe we're too picky or we're, you know, too mean or too straightforward. And it really got me thinking about that. Like, we're not too picky. If somebody says that to you, they're full of shit, quite frankly. You're allowed to have standards, 100%. And no one should ever, like, you know, force you to believe that you shouldn't have them or that they're too high. And I'm not saying judgment because, no, you shouldn't be judgy. Just don't, you know, be a dick. I mean, and that's different from having standards. You know, judging someone is like, you know, judging them without knowing them or basing, you know, judging them because of the color of their skin or their sexual orientation or the car they drive. I mean, that's all judgment and nonsense. But to have standards, like you want someone who has kids, because like for me, I have kids and that would make sense, you know, at my age. But like at 20, that's not what you want. You don't, why would you settle? And honestly, if you can overlook that, then that's fine because yeah, of course there are things that you can, you're willing to overlook, but not everything should be just lowered until you lose who you become, like who you are. I mean, I know who I am and I, you know, I, I for me, I definitely don't want anyone chipping away at my, standards. I don't. I don't want someone making me feel like what I expect is out of control or out of the question or not really reality because it is reality. I mean, for me, I don't really ask a lot now at this point because I'm older. I, you know, I have my kids. I, what I, you know, want is very different than where I was, you know, at 20. But, you know, for me, my big thing is lying and I hate it. I, you know, and for me, if you're hiding things from me, that to me is a lie. I mean, you're just lying. If you're hiding things, you're probably lying about them. And I hate it. I absolutely hate it. And I feel like that's my biggest thing. And that's probably one of the few standards that I have. 
And I'm not going to lower that from someone. And I'm not going to be told that I should have to lower it or be told that what I think is wrong because it's not. And if someone doesn't want to step up and meet you there, then forget it. And who cares? It's such a waste of time. And as women, we need to stop thinking that we need men because we fucking don't. Not at all. Like, you don't need them the way you think. And that doesn't mean that you, I mean, I'm not c coming away from like my last relationship thinking, oh, now I can't really trust people. No, I'll probably trust them the same way that I have always trusted them. I'll just know to recognize certain things a little bit faster and just be like, you know what, fuck it. Like, I've been down this road, it doesn't work out. But I mean, other than that, I'm not gonna change the, the, who I am, I'm just not. And you shouldn't have to either. And so for all you like young girls out there, like just you have standards. It's okay to have them. It's okay to want what you want. And if someone isn't meeting you there, then say bye. Believe me, there's another guy right around the corner. There absolutely is. You will find another one. It's not hard. They really do need to step up to what you want, just like you would need to step up to what they want. I mean, if that's, you know, if they want something specific and that, you know, and you know that you, you know, maybe could work on that, then you should. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as it's, you know, I mean, relationships are give and take and that's fine. But I mean, if you absolutely know that you're not going to settle for anything less and you're not going to change who you are, then you should just tell them up front and when they say okay and they walk away, that's great because you don't need to have that constant battle. And if they tell you, you know what, I can be better, I will be better, and they're not, send them on their way because it's never gonna change. Please, I know from experience, it doesn't ever change. It just becomes one lie after the next. And so you're just like, there's so many, you can't even remember what originally happened. Yeah, so whatever. So if you get a chance, go on Netflix, watch Too Hot to Handle. It was pretty decent. You have nothing else to do anyway, so you might as well. And, you know, don't settle. Not at all. Not remotely. Be strong. It's okay. You'll find someone. Don't worry about it. And for everyone else, you know, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home whenever possible. I hope you guys have an awesome day.